The film begins with Michaela's voice narrating the ordeals they will face in the airport on April 7, 2013, and how it will change her life, she introduces her uncle Ben and his wife. Grace has been married for 15 years and is still in love with her twins Olive and Cal, who are constantly bickering like an old married couple. Her parents are still living a healthy life and, according to her, are attempting to ruin her life by informing her that they need something to celebrate and telling her how much Jared loves her Cal. Ben's son has leukemia and is not returning phone calls, his parents are desperate for a cure. Soon after, the receptionist announced that their flight had been oversold and offered a $400 travel voucher to anyone willing to wait for another flight. Grace accepts the offer, and Ben persuades his wife that they need the money for Cal's treatment, in the process, Cal offers to live with his father afterward. Grace and Olive took the first flight home with her parents, while Ben, Cal and Michaela waited for flight 828. Michaels looks at her boyfriend's picture on the flight, and Ben indulges her in saying yes to Jared because it is what is best for her and what the family wants, but she laughs it off immediately after the thunder crashes, causing flight turbulence, and they regain their balance. The pilot apologizes and announces that the turbulence is the result of a sudden weather surge that was not on their radar and that they have full control of the flight back. The stewardess assists the passengers in returning their belongings to their proper places. And a man requests water. Montego 828 and the person requests his name and the number of passengers. When not given permission to land on the runway, the pilot informs the passengers that they will use another runway and apologizes to the passengers. They see different police cars outside and wonder Vance an officer then goes to meet them and announces their flight which departs from Montego Bay on April 7, 2013 and the day is now April 2018 and they have been missing for five years and a half and they were presumed dead the people are dumbfounded and shocked they are taken into canopy huts where all of them are to stay the people are dumbfounded and shocked they are taken into canopy huts where all of them are to stay, Cal asks his father. Why he is still alive if they have been missing for five years and he responds that he doesn't feel like they have been missing. Soon after, they set up an interrogation room and began questioning the passengers, from the pilot to everyone on board. 36 hours later, each passenger is reunited with their family. Grace and Olive run to hug Ben and Cal Ben then notices Olive has grown older and Cal tries to flee as he sees his sister Michaela asks her father about Jared and her mother but her father informs them about their mother's death as she became ill and died. She weeps and he tells her Jared couldn't make it because of work each family returns home and the neighborhood comes out to see them on getting home they see pictorial memories of what they missed Grace then informs Michaela to consider their house or home she also tries to reach Jared on Grace's phone but the call goes straight to voicemail the next day Vance and his teams try to find out what went wrong on the flight Michaela then goes back to her office and she is told she is still on duty so She can still work she sees Jared and she finds out he is married now to her best friend Lord and he has been promoted at work on hearing this she leaves him immediately and boards a train on the train she begins to hear her voice speaking to her and she is able to save a child from getting hit by their bus as she listens and carries out the voice orders as soon as she gets home. She tells Ben about her experience and he tells her to keep it herself since the government will consider her sick and try to experiment on her since he is sure the government still has another motive for releasing them then after Ben and Grace take Cal for a checkup at the hospital to find out his survival chance after getting treated as high they get happy while Sandy a passenger on the flight also got a surprise welcome from her colleagues at the hospital she is told they got her research. Five years ago, and it has been a success enabling them to treat a cancer patient with a high success rate the following day Michaela goes for a jog and comes across two doors locked up in the cage and hears the same voice talking to her to free them, but she doesn't and hears the voice later in the night on getting to the dog's place Ben also comes there and she finds out Ben hears voices like she does they both free the dogs the next day Jared sees the video footage of Ben and Michaela trying to free the dog and he tries to find out what is wrong with her during the day. Ben goes to Olive School to show his support for her during her football practices on the other hand Cal's case is then presented during the doctor's meeting to be eligible for. The trial and Sandy fights for him and he gets to be. Treated later that day Jared and Michelle take the dog back to the owner and Michelle hears the voice again telling her to set them free in the process they find the missing abducted girls at the place and they are able to save them and apprehend the culprit she then gets acknowledged by her colleagues meanwhile Ben and Grace stay at the hospital with Cal as he begins his treatment.
and Grace shares her feelings with Ben about how the past five years have been for her at home Oliver asks Grace what she will do about Danny during their family time since Ben is around later that night some of the passengers of Montego flight 828 hear eerie music and they all find themselves in front of the plane assembled which catches fire. Soon afterwards soon after the incident the people present get taken for questioning at the place Sophni introduces herself to Ben as the brain behind. The treatment for Cal and they find out she was on the plane the pilot then asks them if they can hear the voices too but they didn't answer him seeing that they are not. Being released Michaela asks them to release them since they are not arrested after which they allow them to go when they get home Grace asks Ben about his whereabouts and he tells her that they just went to get their belongings Cal experiences difficulties as he tries to adapt to the house Olive then confronts her mother telling Ben about Danny and she promises to tell him afterward Michaela goes to the office and meets her best friend waiting for her lord but she tells her they will talk. Later as she needs to see her boss in the boss's office he tells her she needs to undergo some evaluation before she can start working back and she tells him she is up for it later in the hospital Cal asks Grace for another writing pad and she promises to get it for him not long after Sandy comes to get him for his round 2 treatment and Ben introduces her to Grace she tells her it is a miracle they all survived. After, this Ben notices Grace has been avoiding her calls and she tells him it is nothing for him to worry about he excuses himself to go out and kiss her by on his way he hears a melody playing and asks the lady beside him if she can. Here at 2 he traces the melody to a place and sees Rad one of the passengers playing the melody he hears Rad tells him that he has been seeing visions and seeks Ben's help for him to be able to see his son Audio a 13 year old boy he left and is now 18 locked. Behind bars. Meanwhile Michaela goes to the therapist as part of her evaluation asking her to let her go but the woman tells her she still needs to see him Ben then calls Michaela and asks her to help them access Rad's son's prison when they get to the jail Rad gets access to see his son Audio and he tells Rad about the incident and tells him he is innocent and Rad vows to fight for him immediately after they both visit the store owner's shop and he tells them that Audio has cleared his entire shop giving. No room to hear any explanation from them his son then tells them about what Audio did after leaving the hospital Grace goes shopping with Cal. And on their way a lady grabs Cal and tells him he has risen this scares Grace as she gets Cal away from her and takes him away at the house she narrates the event to Ben and he assures her they are safe so she doesn't have anything to worry about later that day Jared pleads with Michaela to give Lord a chance to talk to her as they both didn't replace her and she can take out her anger on him but she tells him she needs more time as she can't deal with seeing both of them just yet the NSA and Government officials also have a meeting to discuss what could have gone wrong during the flight with the people and how they should deal with them. Vance tells them they can only get their answer from the people present, when the plane blows up since they have, writes and can't treat them anyhow back at their house Michaela asks about the well-being of Rad's son and Ben gives her an update on it Ben tells her to help at Audio's case and tells her they need to find out about what happened to them on the flight as they might not be able to live a normal life if they don't Grace then helps Cal with his toys but he tells her it is not the same as his previous ones and she tells him they will get other ones in their room later on Ben reminisces on how much he has missed out on all of life and how things were before and Grace tells him that she is grateful they are just family again. And the following day Michaela finds out that Grace is seeing another man and Grace explains to her that it is not anybody's fault but Michaela tells her to sort out her mess before Ben finds out and Grace promises too even though it is a difficult decision for her during their visit to the Hospital with Cal Ben sees one of the flight members. Kelly giving an interview on television, soon after Sandy comes and he asks Sanvi if she hears music too and she says she has been questioning a lot of things after they both see Cal's drawing which includes another person Ben asks him who the person is but he tells him he doesn't know Later he talks to Michaela and tells her he feels left out of his family and doesn't know what to do after this rad and Ben visit audio and he insists he is innocent back in her office Michaela checks out. Lord's post and cries she then visits the therapist and tells her about her feelings and loneliness the therapist then approves her evaluation but tells her she still needs to see Herbie the time. Ben and Cal get back home, Grace shows him the other toy she got for him but he tells her he wants back his old stuff soon after Olive takes Ben to a warehouse and tells him she didn't throw his stuff away Ben asks her why he didn't tell them all this while and she tells him Grace does not know immediately he asks about the owner of the place and Olive tells him it is Grace's friend he hugs her and tells her she did well after this he hears the eerie music in his head and tells Olive to wait. 
For him he traces the sound and catches the store owner's son with all the stolen goods and more and Ben punches him for lying soon Ben gets him arrested and Michaela asks if he still doesn't believe in miracles but Ben tells her there are some things involved in what is going on which they must find out Audio gets released and unites with his father after this Michaela also goes to Lord's house she tells her she doesn't hold anything against her and she can live happily with Jared they both hug each other she also returned Jared's ring he used to propose to her five years ago when Ben gets home Cal is happy to see his stuff and Olive tells Grace it's time she lets things go and when Ben gets back into the room he tells her they have another chance together so they should make it count and start afresh later that night Kelly gets shot in the head in her home and dies the authorities then go to her place to find out what happened later a flashback is shown with Kelly on a phone call with her husband saying she would rather die than fly to Montego flight again in their house Ben sees the news announcement of Kelly's death and everyone worries that they might experience danger too but he calms them Downey calls Sanvi who later tells him she finds something in Cal's blood that wasn't there before and he asks if it is dangerous but she tells him she doesn't know yet Michaela then offers to go and find out about the situation at Kelly's place but cannot drive as she gets flashbacks of the incident with her friend and calls Ben to drive her on their way he tells her they need to cooperate and find the clue together as he is tired of being helpless at the scene she introduces herself as an investigator and they fill her in on the situation in the process the NSA and Vans take charge of the scene and ask what they are doing there, after excusing themselves they question Kelly's husband Patrick and he tells them she heard a calling and Michaela asks Ben if it was the calling that got her killed the following day later in Michaela's office she watches Kelly's interview and notes a particular word she keeps using on your truth Jared then comes to her and tells her she needs to be careful and not to get herself in trouble since she took Ben to a crime scene after this Ben and Michaela find a link between them and Kelly and they go to her husband's house at the house Michaela gets flashbacks as she is still traumatized by the death of her friend Evie who was killed in a car wreck while Michaela was driving for which Evie's parents Glenn and Beverly blame Michaela she then visits Glenn and Beverly and learns that Beverly has dementia while Glenn is no longer angry at Michaela she leaves their place back in her office Jared finds her and gives her an update about his finding on Kelly and her husband. He tells her they have a shopping mall and there is nothing extraordinary nor do they have a criminal record on hearing this she leaves the office while at their house Ben begins to search for cameras that might have been installed to keep an eye on them and receive a call from Sanvi. Since she finds something unusual in Cal's blood and then it is in her own too and tells him she will keep researching soon he hears the bell ring and sees Kevin Cal's childhood friend and thinks he is there for him but finds out he is Olive's boyfriend now Cal leaves them angrily and tells Ben and Grace later that Olive had snuck out the night before after this Ben reprimands Olive and she angrily tells them to sort themselves instead not long after Ben and Michaela go to Kelly's store they find out about Kelly and her husband's crimes which she has been trying to correct when Kelly got back late later the NSA comes to the station and takes control of the investigation and Vance tries to compel Jared to keep him informed of Michaela's movements immediately Michaela got back to the station Jared told her about Kelly's husband's crime but nothing pointed to him killing his wife Meanwhile at home Cal is upset to discover that his former best friend Kevin is now dating Olive Olive tries to assure him their relationship won't affect his relationship with her however the night after Michaela visit to see the culprit of Kelly's murder and she finds out the guy arrested is not the one who killed Kelly and tries to put the clues together which leads her to her owning her truth she visits Evie parents and finds out Beverly has gone missing. After this Glenn gets her the car key to find Beverly Michaela later faces her fear of driving to find Beverly who wanders off and saves her from being hit by a car to her surprise the driver then turns out to be Christine who was Kelly's missing necklace and she gets her arrested. During the interrogation she later admits to killing Kelly after the interrogation Michaela tells Jared that something has changed in her that she cannot explain since she got back from the flight and until she has figured it out the less Jared knows the better for them and she leaves later that night Cal and Olive tried to catch up including Ben and Grace Michaela also gets to hang out with Evie's parents soon after Michaela returns home and informs Ben that she has been attempting to contact him. 
including Sanvi, they both leave and meet Sandy at the laboratory where she explains her discovery that she needs to obtain a tissue from Kelly in order to experiment on it in order to find a clue as to what is wrong with her blood, since she discovers something unusual in Cal's blood and then in her own, which is usually caused by an ischemic stroke, she informs them that she is unable to access the database, and they discover that the NSA wants Kelly's body, which is why they took charge of the investigation. While the NSA takes custody of Kelly and the film ends, 